Say man, hey man. It's your boy Do It On Holland. We're back with another NBA 2K24 Next Gen Build video. And today I have a special build, but before we get to the build, I need you guys to let me know in the comments what's your favorite thing to do on a Friday night? What's your favorite thing to do on a Friday night? So with this build, we have the infamous three level threat, but this build right here is a little bit different. We do get Hall of Fame slithery on this build, gold posterizer, elite contact dunks. You can shoot the lights out and you can play some defense. So make sure you guys watch the video to the end so I can show you the how I created this masterpiece. Choose the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's like button time and I need you guys to go down there, hit that like button, get this video to 100 likes. And if you haven't already, hit the link in the description and join the Discord. And also hit the link in the description to follow me on twitch so with this build we have the infamous shooting guard position 69 for the height 185 on the weight 73 wingspan so we can get some good mid-range shooting and three-point shooting let's get into the build so with this build i was going for um the 94 driving dunk so we can't get the lead contact dunk some people say oh that's too high this and that y'all probably haven't experienced a 94 driver dunk it just don't make sense to me when people say something about a certain attribute and they don't even have it okay go get your build with a 94 driving dunk and then come back and talk to me you know what i'm saying or you may not have a great experience with a 94 driving dunk because you don't know what you're doing but I have experience with the 94 driving dunk, and I know what it can do, so that's why I always suggest it, and that's what we have for this build. We did take the layup to a 78. I really wanted to get it to an 80, but I couldn't squeeze out any more attributes for it, so uh, we're going to be stuck at a 78, which is not that bad. I normally do a 74, but a 78 does give you, um, you know, unlock some more layup packages, I guess. Uh, for the close side, we got a 58 and a 49 on the standard dunk, so we come down to the physicals. We're going to take the speed and acceleration up, Okay, we're going to get the strength up to a 74. We're going to get the vertical up to an 82. Don't make that mistake. A lot of people make that mistake and don't take that vertical up high enough and they miss out on the elite contact dunks. Or they take their driving dunk to a 93 and miss out on Hall of Fame, Slithery, and the contact dunks. So you don't want to make that mistake of taking your driving dunk to a 93. A lot of people do it. I even see 92 floating around, which is dumb as hell. But anyway, if you go to a 93, that's a mistake. I mean, it's, it's a mistake to me because I know at a 94, you get an extra uh, level on uh, Slithery, which is a Hall of Fame, and you get the Elite Contact Dunks. Elite Contact Dunks are 94, 82, 96, and 86. Simple as that. Okay, so don't make the mistake. And we do get some standard dunk animation on this build as well, which is um, okay. But let's go ahead and get it to the green beam. Make your girl scream badge. This build does have an 83 point shot. Now, I already know all you T Mac lovers, T Mac base lovers out there. I made sure you guys had that with the mid-range shot, okay? So, you need an 87, and I gave you guys an 88. So, you know what I'm saying? If you want to adjust that, go ahead and adjust it. But you do get an extra, um, some badges on the extra level uh, with the 88 instead of the 87. As you can see, Green Machine and Space Creator go up to gold. And we have that 83-point shot. You can go 81 if you want to. Total up to you. But I think an 80 should be fine. So, with the 88 mid-range shot, we will get badges like Catch and Shoot, uh, Green Machine, Space Creator, guard up mini magician overlooks all on gold which is really good in my opinion to have those badges on this build you will be able to make some shots man you know you don't necessarily have to have super high three-point shot super high three-point shooting uh, because on my new build i got like a 77 three-point shot but i got like an 86 on the mid-range shot so you know it's kind of I, I think 2k didn't didn't mean to do it like that you know what i'm saying because you can get away with having a higher mid-range shot in the lower three this year and still make shots. Somebody told me they shoot good with a 65 three-point shot. Now, I don't believe that unless you tell me what your mid-range shot is because you can take your uh, your mid-range shot up and leave the three down if you want to. As you can see, you can leave it like that. I guess Buddy had like a 90-something mid-range shot. As you can see, we still get good badges. We got the same badges, really, but, you know, a couple badges go down or whatever, but we still get them for the most part. But we're going to leave that at an 80. Um, and 71 on the free throw. But let's go ahead and get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody, mama, can see this video. And I need everybody, mama, to see the video. So do that for your boy, boy. Now, with the pass action, I try my best to get it up to a 75. But sometimes you just have to, um, you know, take something down just to get other things that will make you a better player. And I think. You know, being at the two, eh, you need a little bit of passing, but you don't have to just go crazy. You know what I'm saying? As long as you can handle the ball and you can 
make some passes, which you can make some passes with a 70. Uh, with the ball handling, we do have an 80. That's all we can get. With the speed with ball, we have a 75. That's all we can get. And as you can see, we do get good badges like blow by, speed booster, hyperdrive, and triple strike. Uh, we also get unpluckable. We get anchor breaker. We get physical handles on goal and killer combo. So, you know, you, you get some badges that will allow you to make some dribble moves. I'm not telling you to sit in the corner with this build. You can actually dribble and do what you do with this build because you have the attributes to do it. You know, now if your team don't permit it, you know, it, that's a different different uh, story. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on who you play with. If you play with certain people and they don't like certain things and y'all play a certain way, then you have to just fit in. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't have too much pride, man, to uh, switch your bills. Like, with me, I don't care what bill I play on. I don't care what position. If my teammates tell me that they want me to play point guard that particular day, guess what? I'm going to play point guard. If they say, oh, man, we need that center, guess what? I'm playing center. If they say, we need that power forward, I'm going to play power forward. It's not a big deal to me, man. But, you know, some people, they'll create a new bill, and then they get in their feelings when they can't play with the new bill because we want a certain lineup out there, out there that particular day. Don't get in your feelings about that, man. You know, you, you came over here to play with us, and that's just how we rocking. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we talk about that stuff. For people to get in their feelings, man, we, we don't rock like that. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and get into the defense. So, with the defense, um, we wanted to make sure that we can slow people down uh, and we can block shots. So, that, that's what I really focus on with this build. Um, I know I create a lot of builds without shot blocking, um, but this particular build does have a 61 interior defense and a 79 on the shot blocker. So, you will be able to block some shots with this build. Um, we got chase down, we got anchor, we got pogo. So that is going to help us out a whole lot when it comes to the chase down. Silver chase down is good, don't get me wrong, but I think gold is better. Uh, that's just my opinion. You know, some somebody told me in the comments, like, oh, you don't need nothing but an 80 block, period. Like on centers and everything. I'm like, eh, I don't know if I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? But um, anyway, uh, we're going to take the perimeter defense up to an 85, and that does allow us to get silver. Ankle braces, challenger, clamps, fast feet, pick dodger. Uh, we also get all ball pets on goal, so that's really good for this build. As far as the steel, we're going to take that to a 72 because that does allow us to get intercepted, glove, and right stick ripple. So you will be able to get some steals. You can jump those passing lanes. Um, you can move around a little bit. You won't get the animation that you get when you don't have steel. I know that much. So we're good with that. Now, as far as the speed, we have an 80. Uh, we got a 73 acceleration, 74 strength, 82 on the vert, and the rest is on stamina. Now let's get to these shades of are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. We do have shades of J.R. Smith, Doug Christie, and Eddie Jones. And the bill is the infamous three level threat. The bill name that we get all the time. Okay, and don't forget to let me know in the comments what's your favorite thing to do on a Friday night. I think that's what I asked y'all. No matter here like last year, y'all. Charge!